drug to living naturally. It was my eye-opening experience that, hey, there is something else out there that can make a difference in our health. And through coming into the world of essential oils, I started really diving in deep and trying to figure out what else could I do to support my health. And then that's that's what led me down to the stuff in my home. Um, so how did you how did you react to the essential oils? Did they clear up your headaches? Did you go through a <laughs> detox? So when I first was was going through essential oils, now you guys might relate to this too. They, you know, I went to this class and they passed all these little bottles of oil around. And I remember looking at, cause you know, you don't go to one of these things alone, right? You bring your friend. <laughs> so, you know, I was, I, and I looked at her, I'm like, these stink. These are awful. You know, my body was so toxic that it, it, it truly was. It, I thought they stunk. Um, but I, I, something in me was open enough. And so, yes, I learned that um, I could use essential oils to replace things that in my home that were full of fragrance. So that was my first thing was getting fragrance out of the house. And Dr. B, when I got fragrance out, my headache stopped. I have not wow. had a headache or a migraine since I removed synthetic fragrance, fragrances from my home. That's incredible. And I see your young living oil diffuser in the back. I have the same one. <laughs> it's it's always going, always yeah. going because it's, it's um, not only can you remove fragrance, but it's, it's, you know, I think about this when I talk to people is, you know, you, you burn a candle because it smells good to you, right? I diffuse because not only is it smelling good, it's cleaning the air, it's providing emotional support for me, and it's also helping different systems in my body. So I'm getting the trifecta fold um, and I'm not polluting my lungs and causing damage to my body with the, synthet the synthetic stuff. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I was introduced to Young Living Oils back in the early 80s. So wow. <laughs> been around them for a long time. I love them. I love them. So, so you were introduced to essential oils. You got rid of the fragrances. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? What was the next step? Well, I really started digging. So then it became, so it was first the fragrance and I consider that in the air. Um, I developed the five pillars of living a toxin-free lifestyle when I wrote the book because I looked at, okay, what did I, what journey did I go down that really made a difference for me? So air was my first area because we breathe fragrance in, right? Mm -hmm. um, then I went into absorption. You know, what was I putting on my skin? I started taking a look at, um, you know, what kind of shampoo was I using? Using, what kind of lotions was I using? What kinds of bath products, makeup, you know, all that stuff. So I started looking at the absorption piece of it. Um, what was I using for laundry soap? You know, what was I cleaning my house with? Those are all pieces of absorption, you know, that come into our body. Um, I looked at water. You know, what, what was coming in through my water, not just what I was drinking, but also what I was bathing in that, that so many people automatically go to, well, uh, I put reverse osmosis on, I drink bottled water, which that's a whole nother conversation, right? right? Um, but they don't talk about what they bathe in or what they shower in or what they're cleaning their clothes in or doing their laundry, you know, their, their dishes with. So um, I personally feel like putting a, a filter on your shower head is way more important than what you're drinking because it's being absorbed into the body. Directly. Yeah. Through the yeah. capillary system. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So air absorption, water, what's the next one? Food. Food. You know, what yeah. are we intaking through our food? Um, and that's a scary path to go down, right? But, you know, we want to look at, you know, are we eating things that are full of um, preservatives? Are we eating things that are full of pharmaceuticals and hormones and heavy metals? And are we eating things that are full of um, artificial dyes and colors? And, you know, so the big thing with food is just, Eat what your great grandparents ate. If it doesn't come from the earth, don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> I love that. Great grandparents. Yeah, definitely ate a lot differently than we did. You know, even in my time frame, and I'm Dr. B, I bet you you can relate to this. 
fast food just came out when I was a child. Yeah. We did not have fast food in my early years. We had it as I got older. And in fact, running to McDonald's was a, a treat that we did like maybe once every three months. We did not get to do that on a regular basis. And today's society does it every day. Yeah, every day. Absolutely. Okay. And the last one? Uh, the last one is mental. We mental. cannot do all the pieces of the body without also thinking about the mental. So I like to break mental into outward and inward, right? So we have energy that surrounds us. Everything that's living has energy. Um, you know, so what energy are we going to allow into our circle? But we also have stress that's out there, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so stress creates a toxin in our body. Um, we have to look at how are we going to respond to stress because stress is always going to be there. How are we going to handle that stress? So we give tips on that. And then internally, you know, what are those voices?